var ju inga inga var kvar.
opening it up. Cool.
Hi, this is Jonathan. Welcome back from watching that hike of the Laugaveger Trail in Iceland. In this section I will show you the route we hiked uh, to complete this hike and give you some general planning advice so that you can hike this uh, beautiful trek yourself. First of all, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider showing your support by subscribing to my channel as it ultimately enables me to go out there and do more of these treks and videos to share with you. So, the trailhead starting point for this hike was Landmannalaugur. Uh, we got there by taking a bus from Reykjavik uh, early in the morning. And from there our hike started to our very first stop, which was Raftinuske. Uh, our hike started with a bit of uh, rain, but quickly became very beautiful surrounded by these rainbow-colored mountains. Hot springs, geysers. It was a very surreal environment, unlike anything I've ever seen before. Uh, we also covered an area which reminded me a lot of Shoko Mountains from Mario Kart. Just dark brown mountains with snowy spots followed by a lot of snow. So all experienced in just one day. After 12 kilometers we reached Raftinusker uh, and set camp for the night. On the second day we hiked an additional 12 kilometers to Alphavatten. This day felt slightly easier walking a bit more downhill and was the first day where we passed a dark open field, which was the first out of many and actually something reminiscent of a different planet. Mm -hmm. This was the first day where we had to take off our shoes and wade over stream water, uh, also the first out of many. So the water was ice cold, in fact so cold that it initially hurts, uh, but luckily followed by becoming numb and not feeling anything. Reaching Alphavatten, we decided to sleep in a hut uh, where we would warm ourselves and we had reserved the huts in advance and pre prepared for a mix of camping in our tent as well as staying in huts to make sure that we were able to dry up in, in case of, of heavy rain or snow for instance. So uh, every second day we booked a cabin. Uh, and day three was a bit of a longer day, 16 kilometers to Emster Botnar. Uh, more river crossings, beautiful sharp mountains uh, towering up on either side of us and being able to see a large glacier in the distance. So we also crossed many more of these open dark areas where nothing really grew. It was just like a rocky desert on a different planet and the area felt very remote and different from anything I've seen before. Uh, arriving at Emster uh, was this small oasis. Uh, so basically just next to a river a lot of plants started to grow following this sort of rocky desert. So we spent the evening here and we made camp for the night. The fourth and last day we hiked to Thorsmark, which was the longest hike of the trek. Uh, 17 kilometers, more river crossings and of course beautiful surroundings. Just at the end of this hike is also where we accidentally bumped into Craig Adams, who is a hiker legend for those of you who don't know him. And uh, to be honest, it made me a bit starstruck. Uh, I was hammering him with questions. Once reaching Thorsmark, uh, we rented a cabin uh, in a place called the Volcano Huts that I highly recommend. Uh, we treated ourselves with a much long for a proper dinner. To summarize this hike, it's uh, about 52 kilometers long, uh, an elevation gain of 1,700 meters. And the trail took us through some of the most surreal stunning landscapes I have ever seen. I've been on a few hikes during my life and so far this one tops the charts. Experience wise the terrain was not overly difficult, uh, which means suitable for beginners. However, the conditions can get bad with risks and whiteouts, uh, including blizzards and the nights were very cold. So I would advise thorough preparation and mainly making sure to pack for all kinds of weather. Uh, if you're thinking about doing this trek alone, you might want to group up with others in snowy conditions as the trail might be hard to find in certain areas. Uh, that's it for this time and again if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel to enable me to go out and do more of these videos and share with you. Uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me. I'm super happy if I can help you hike and likewise thankful for any kind of feedback on this video. Uh, Thor's mark officially marked the end of the Laugaveger trail and from there you can either choose to end your trek or start the Fimvorduhals trail, 
which is a slightly more challenging trail that crosses a mountain pass on the way to Skogar. We did complete the Finn Borderhouse trek as well and the video is available to see here. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.